Hi, Diana. Oh, hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine and, and I'm kind of embarrassed. Why? Because nobody's here. Oh, but it's better you're here with me. <laughs> yes, but I'm always late and I, I'm, I was supposing that somebody was in the class at the eight o'clock. Yeah, usually Jessie is the first one, but I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> oh, I can imagine that she's... It's really Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult sometimes on Mondays <laughs> and Fridays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And Tuesdays and Wednesdays and every day of the week. <laughs> yes, I, I remember that you said uh, on Friday. Oh, it's Friday. I know, but you see, now I'm Wednesday. saying on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your day, Diana? Mm, it was really kind of relaxed. Oh, really? Because, yes, I've been sick. I've been sick all week. Oh, really? Yes, and I was I was sick today at the at morning. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, but but at the afternoon I was feeling. You were feeling better. Yes. Yes. Oh, I was that's feeling nice. Better, so that was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, but nothing like to nothing to worry about. No, I, I no, it, I I'm, I don't know. <laughs> it was, <laughs> Let's it hope was, not. No. <laughs> yes, I hope not. It was kind of weird because I have fever. Oh, really? Well, you know what? I was feeling like that last week. Okay. Last week, Thursday and Friday, I was like really feeling bad in classes and during the whole day. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm strong here. <laughs> but yeah, I was not feeling like well at all on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> You, you were, I, I don't know how to say, you weren't look at, looking like uh, if you were... Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I felt worse on Thursday. Friday, I was feeling a little bit better, but I was not myself. And today, my <laughs> eye is so sore. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you see, it's Monday. Oh, my goodness. On Fridays. <laughs> on Fridays, yes. <laughs> So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's an inter interesting theory, especially because today everything reopened, huh? Yes, I, I because I, I don't, I didn't go out of my house. I, right. I, I don't know what how it was. Yeah, I like. mean, I didn't either. I mean, I, I don't want to. <laughs> I <I'd rather, laughs> rather be home. You know, <laughs> kind of like watch the news if I have time and just to find out how things are outside but <laughs> I know, have you have you ever watched the movie The Croods? No. Uh, it's a cartoon movie actually I mean it's nothing for grown-ups but I have children so I have to watch those movies but it's about um it's about a family that is from the prehistoric like uh the ca like cavemen you know like de las cavernas and um, it's, mm -hmm. it's a family that leave is the mother, the, the father, the grandma, and mm -hmm. two children. No, three children, all right? <coughs> the thing is, like, the, he, uh, the dad of the, the family has kept them inside a cave for so long that they want to go outside and see what's out there. And he says, mm -hmm. no, the only way to survive is to keep us together in the cave all right so mm -hmm. everything that is outside is not not is not good for you oh, kill you good. so that's how i feel right now at home because you know <laughs> it's, my, it's my cave it's my bubble and i don't care you know if everybody's out but i'm gonna survive <laughs> yes, I can imagine. Yeah. it's like your safe place right yes it is totally totally <laughs> You know, I have like two, uh, the two little girls, they are little, the little one is six, all right? So oh. they're still like small. And then my, my oldest son, he has, um, he has an illness. So he, I need to take care of him anyway, all right? And then, so it's like, no, I'd rather be in my bubble, all right? I don't have to go out, I don't go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. better. In this case, it's better. It's better that way. I think. Yes, I think so too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Irene. Irene, can you hear us? Yeah. Hi, Irene. I I am. 
Good evening, everybody. How are you? Fine. We're fine. We're talking with Diana that it's Monday, so that's why not many people are in yet. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, very nice. Hi, Oscar. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. How's everybody? Everybody else seems fine. <laughs> I hope so. I hope yeah, so. no kidding. Hey, Oscar, were you able to finish the uh, the meter for the platform? Yes, I did. I Thank did. you so I just, much. I just did. Excellent. You know, yesterday, uh, I was on my workplace. Yeah, my you said it. Yeah. And I, I ran it out of data in yeah. my phone. All right. And I couldn't access. I, I didn't have. I don't. I mean, I don't have access to a PC or. or right. A yeah, I get it. Yeah. It's okay. All right, but you you, you did it. Good cool point. Thank you so much. I did it. Very good. Hi, Jose Luis. Hi, Andrea. Hi. Good night. Good evening. How are you today, Andre? Fine. And good. Your picture? I'm okay. I'm okay. Hi, Jose Luis. So Hi, nice teacher. to see you guys. Hi. Nice uh, to see you. Thank you. Andrea, by any chance, were you able to work on the platform, Andrea? Yes, yes. You finished everything. I mean, to, to the point of the meter. What is the point? Meter. The unit, to, unit, the meter. unit one, yes. unit two, okay. and meter. Yes. Excellent, Andrea. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry for, for, for the no, late. That's, that's okay. That's okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of my um, obligations, let's say, that I have to remind you guys to, to work on it. All right. But that's okay. Hi, Williams. Hey. Thank you. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you, Williams. Good to see you too. Excellent. How was your day today? It's really great. Really it good. was it was good all right that's nice all right very good so williams you are all the like you are fine with the platform right you you said yesterday you finished it yes like to to the midterm yeah all the way to the midterm all right what about you jose luis you were okay right yes, with the midterm yeah you I did finished. all right yeah yes. okay very good thank you all right very good guys all right so and irene also right you worked on it irene i think so on the platform, Irene, you are all the way to where you're supposed to be, to the midterm, right? Yes, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, the thing is, like, I have another group, so, like, I, I kind of get confused with, with the names and if everybody is, like, where they are supposed to be. All right, guys, so thank you so much for being with us right now. Okay, Irene, that's okay. All right, so thank you again for being with me. Another week, this is actually going to be the fourth week of this program, all right? So remember that this program, the intermediate levels and the advanced levels, they are five weeks, all right? So pretty much it's this week and next week, all right? And we are gonna be finished the advanced one, all right? So that's nice, you know, in a way time flies, all right? So it's it's... It's good that you guys take advantage of it this way. Otherwise, I mean, that time flies anyway if you're not taking these courses and you learn something new. I hope so. It's true. Right. And how yes. many, how many uh, advances are? How uh, many the, levels of? Yeah, every every um, level or every, yeah, like the basic level, the intermediate level, and the advanced level, Andrea. It's six six levels per. Um, oh, okay. The basic, the intermediate, and the and the advanced. So we we you guys are gonna be like a, you're supposed to be on the advanced level for six um, six levels. All right, six modules or six courses. All right. Uh, remember that it's not exactly a month. It's a month and a week. All right. Uh -huh. okay. It's a month and a week. So if you if you like actually realize it, the the program is really complete because it's not just like two um two months per level and that's it and you're already bi uh, bilingual right so it actually takes a while if you actually complete the whole course you're talking about 18 18 modules all right it becomes longer in time it's like almost two years because the intermediate levels and the advanced levels they are five weeks all right so it takes a little bit longer but in, i mean 
if you think about it, it's an intensive course because it's Monday through Friday, two hours per day. You know, so if you go outside and you pay for something like that, it's much more expensive. All right. So I think it's it's good. It's a good opportunity for you guys to be taking this. All right. So that's good. So as I said, we have this week and next week and we're going to be finishing. So that means that for this weekend, you are supposed to work on your section three. All right. So you have to have finished the section three. This time we're going to have like, remember the first section, it was the, v, the class and then a tarea, the class and a tarea, class and a tarea. For unit two, it was two classes and a tarea. All right, but because it's longer, unit two is longer for unit three and unit four. All right, so it's like a class and a tarea. So like, it's it should like for example, if you guys could do it because it's easier, I think if you finish your class and you can do your tarea that belongs to this class, it's much faster for you because there are only five questions. All right, so if you notice, it wouldn't take you that long to answer. But if you wait the whole week then you have to do five tareas, <laughs> right? And that, like, then you have to invest 25 minutes because if you take longer, I mean, that is, right? But it's up to you. The, the point is that for next Saturday eh, or, or Sunday morning, the latest, you would have to have the whole section three finished, all right? So for the next, the next uh, week, though, it would be our fourth, I mean, our fifth week and the last section, then you have to work on your last section plus the final exam. Don't forget that, all right? Because otherwise, if you, don't, if you don't do the final exam, it's like you didn't do anything, all right? So make sure that you do. But this week, it's like a little easier because it's only section three, all right? So my suggestion and my recommendation is for you to work on the tarea every day we finish the class because it's only five questions. It's not a big deal, all right? So with that in mind, guys, I do want to thank everyone for working on your platform and everything and catching up if you were like a little behind, but I know that you guys did a, that you already worked on it. All right. So thank you so much for that. So right now, guys, I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to project the, um, the manual that we use or the book that we use. So in case you have it, you may get it out. This is what we have here. Just give me a second here. I don't see all of you. I don't know why. There you go. All right. So this is unit three. This page is not the first page of the, un of the, of the unit three. Actually, it's the third page, I believe. But that's okay. We're going to talk about this either tomorrow or the, 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 the following day, as well as this one. This is actually where unit three begins. All right. But we're going to leave it for Tuesday and Wednesday. All right. Now, the name of the unit is leading, my, uh, leading Millennials, all right? So we're going to be talking. We're not going to talk a little bit. I mean, we're not going to talk about training anymore, but in a way we will because we're going to see how Millennials work, all right, and how Baby Boomers work, all right, and how Generation X and Generation Y works, all right? So these two weeks, guys, we're going to be talking about generations, all right? So it's kind of cool because... Even in this group, we have different generations, all right? So that's fun, all right? We're gonna see, we're gonna have debates, which generation is the better, all right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, so, but today, because it's Monday, and usually Mondays we have like the grammar class, the serious class, all right? So here we, <laughs> and Oscar's like, oh, all right? We're talking about uh, the other pair conjunction that I told you we were gonna be working on, all right? So this is how to use pair conjunctions all right. So, Oscar, do you mind reading this, uh, the, the, like what I'm highlighting here for you? And then maybe, uh, Moises, you may read the first part of the chart, this one right here. And um, Andre, you may read this part of the chart afterwards, okay? The weather or, all right? So, Oscar, can you, can you uh, start reading, please? Okay, sure. Uh, unit three, five, how to use pay to conjunctions part three look at the examples in the box then complete the exercises below either or present a choice between two point two options the verb which follows to subject join 
by or must agree with the second subject. Example, millennials are either self in entitled, mm -hmm. entitled or self-centered. Mm -hmm. Either John or Rick is going to prepare the progress report on the project. Okay, thank you, Moises. Very good. Andrea, can you read the other part of your chart, please? Whether or is used to express to doubt. Choice, doubt or choice between top two possibilities. Examples, the new guy didn't know whether to quit or to keep his job during his first day. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether millennials are difficult to work with or not. <laughs> All right, thank you, Andrea. All right, so here, guys, we're looking at the these two pair conjunctions. Again, these are not the, the, the last ones. There are many more. All right, so we have studied not only, but also both and, and neither nor. All right, now we're studying either or and whether or. All right, so what is the difference between those two? Either or, it gives you a choice between two things, all right? Now, when I say it gives you a choice, it can be a choice between a noun, it can be a choice between a verb, it can be a choice between uh, an adverb, an adjective, just like what we were talking about before, about parallelism. We're talking about the same thing and we're giving the same uh, emphasis to everything, all right? And then the difference yeah. or, or the, yes, Oscar. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, that's okay. Okay, I, I did. Oscarito, you muted yourself. What did you do? <laughs> because I didn't mute it. I didn't mute the mic before. Ah, was... okay. okay. <laughs> you were thinking out loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. My okay. mistake, sorry. No, that's okay. That's All right. Kind of dangerous. Okay. <laughs> that's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then we have whether or. So what is the difference between these two pair? I mean, this pair of conjunctions with the other one. This one, you're talking about a choice, but most, I think more than a choice, is a doubt that you have mm, whether or not you will do something, All right. So the new guy didn't know whether to quit or to keep his job during, the, during his first day. So he was kind of wondering, should I do this or should I do the other thing? Should I go or should I, should I stay? So he's doubting, you know, he's thinking, mm, all right, what is the best thing for me to do? Or the other one is, I don't know because I have no idea really. So I, I'm doubting myself. I don't know whether millennials are difficult to work with or not because I have never dealt with a millennial. So I'm not sure, all right? So if you notice both examples, they give you that doubt, all right? Whether on the other one, you're talking about options, all right? So that's like the big, the, like the biggest difference between this whether or and um, a pair conjunctions, all right? So that's what I have here. I don't know if you have questions so far with this chart that they have presented to you. Do you have any questions about that? Now, just like remember neither nor, remember that either or is always going to follow the subject closest to it, all right? So for example, if I say uh, my, um, I don't know, millennial, millennials are either, no, hold on. Uh, but let's think about a singular subject. If we have a singular subject closest to, um, or, and then we would have the verb, we have to sit, like use the S or whatever uh, ve verb tense we're using, all right? So we need to pay attention to what the next, to what the verb next to the verb is, so we can use it either. We pluralize it or we use it in a singular form, all right? So we need to remember is the pretty much the same rule. I just wanna show you this here. Let me just get it. Hi, Normita. And Jennifer, hello. Nice to have Good you evening. in class. Good evening. All right. Hello, teacher. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, how are you feeling? Are you feeling much better? Yes, I'm better, teacher. Excellent. Thanks. Very good, Jennifer. I'm happy to hear that. All right. So I'm going to show you this just for you to read it here, for us to read it. And this is what we have. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger for you here. All right. So here we have it. 
here. Uh, I just want to, I, I just want you to read this here, either or, all right, is a correlative conjunction or a pair conjunction. We use either or for connect things which are the same types, phrases, clauses, or words. So that's like, remember, like, a, if you say, here we have the examples, either he or she cooks dinner. See, well, this is what I was telling you about here. Remember this one? This is the subject, so the verb you need to make, you have to have an S here because it's only she. Or you can say either she or, I don't know, her friends cook dinner, all right? So it depends on the subject next to the verb uh, that you're going to use the verb, all right? Like if you're going to make it plural, like if you're going to pluralize it or not. Then you say, you can either come with me now or walk home all right so in in the first one let's see normita on the first example either he or she cooks dinner what are they talking i mean what are they what are the two words that they are connecting what are they are they nouns are they verbs are they adjectives on the first Maybe. one mm -hmm. And then and uh, with now, right? Yes, either he or she cooks dinner. All right. Uh, let me see, Jenny. What about on the other one? Either Mark or Samuel will go. Mm, uh, before the the noun. Right, aha, uh -huh, but okay, so they are using the nouns, right? Yes, yes, they are using nouns or subjects, right? Well, in that case, they are using nouns, Mark and Samuel. What about Andrea? When, when we say you can either come with me now or walk home, what are the types of words that they are using? Uh, nouns, I think. For the third one, Andrea, you can either come with me now or walk home. Come, uh, 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 verbs. That's yeah. right, yeah, very good. So come and walk, right? Very good. All right, nice. Let's see. Whoops, sorry. Let me see, I didn't mean to do that. All right, Diana, what about on the other one? They don't have, uh, they don't have enough time. They can either have breakfast or have a shower. They're verbs? Yeah, all right, yeah, all right, very good. Uh, the other one, you can either call me at home or the office. They are verbs too. Right, okay. So what did they do there on that sentence, Diana? I'm sorry, can you repeat? Yes, what did they do there on that sentence? You can either call me at home or the office. They did something. What did they do? Where is the other uh, verb on that sentence? Oh, they, it, yes, they, they didn't put the other verb. They replace it. No, I, they, only, they only put, uh, no, I, I don't know what's the word. But they don't put it because right. it's implicit. Right, because it's the same action, right? That's right. So you can either call me at home or call me at the office. It would be too redundant, all right? So that's why they omitted it. But they are able to do that because it's the same action. If you have different verbs, no, all right? That, that omission doesn't happen. I'll either write to you or phone you next week, all right? So what about that one? Uh, hi, Jesse. Williams, in the last sentence, I'll either write to you or phone you next week. What are the what are the two types of words that they are using? There are verbs too. Right. Okay. Now, in that type of type of sentence, William, can they omit the verb just like they did on the previous sentence or not? They omit. On the last one, can they omit the verb? Did you or? Yeah. Yeah. They omit. And the second one, uh, they say, or uh, write me by phone. But what, what, what are the two verbs that are being used on that sentence? Write. And the other one? 
the other one is like phone. Phone, right? Okay. So are they are they the same verb, Williams? No. Like a uh, call. Right, but they are not the same verbs, right? The, the actions are different. The act, one, one action is to write and the other one is to phone. That's why they cannot omit the verb, like on, on this one, the one that Diana read. You can either call me at home or the other. Yeah. They, could, they could omit it because call, is in, like she different. said, it's there, right? It's, it was the same mm -hmm. in, the same, in this sentence. But in this case, write is one action and phone is the other action. So they, that cannot be omitted because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense, all right? So that's pretty much when um, we use either or, all right? Now, if you notice, usually guys, like what we've been saying here before, with either, you can begin your sentence using either if you are talking about a noun, all right? Just like neither. All right, now if you are using it like for verbs, then for example, here you can say, you can either come, you don't say, you, either you can come is kind of dif difficult, all right? So you can either come, so here is like either comes right on, like let's say in the middle of your sentence, okay? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. yes. All right, yes, very good. Yes, yes, yes. All right, very good. Okay, so this is what we're well, going to... Yes? Teacher, Hi, Jessie. I don't listen. I don't listen all the explanation, but you are talking about the, when you use one bird, the ear it is uh, uh, before the bird, but you have to start with such as, luego auxiliary bird. Yeah, in this... Uh huh, and then the either. Yes, mm -hmm. in all cases, in all birds, we no. we have to. Uh huh, no. Jesse, continue, continue. In all birds, we have to use the statues and then then auxiliary bird and then the either. Yeah, most of the time, Jesse, but it's like the same thing as neither. All right, sometimes you can also be the beginning. All right, so. It's kind of like we need to get used to like when to use it and when not to use it. Um, I was last week, I was telling Jennifer, like I was actually looking for a specific structure, but they don't really tell you a specific structure. All right. Okay. But only when, when you are talking about positive thing or choices, because in negative is neither. Right. That's right. Yes. But in positive it's either. Either. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, this one, guys, gives you, like, the neither one gives you an, a, a negative connotation, and either gives you more like a, like, two choices, like, good choices, all right? Either Veronica or Moises will help you, all right? So, that's, a, that's something positive, all right? You either, you will okay. get help either by, by Vero or by Moises, all right? So, either gives you yes. a positive connotation, and neither nor gives you a negative connotation, all right? understand that okay all right very good okay guys so this is what i want us to do right now let me see how many people i have here already two four six eight ten twelve hi elizabeth salguero all right very good nice um hi, hi. Uh, now before i go on guys i just have a question uh, norma moises i think Verito and Elizabeth, were you able to work on your platform on the weekend? Because I, I checked yesterday and not everybody was finished. So that's why I sent the message. All right. So, Normita, were you able to finish all the way to your midterm? No, teacher. I, I couldn't complete two okay. exercises. All right. Okay, is it because do you have a problem or you were not able to do them, eh, Norma? Like the what? both. Okay. Right. The both. Okay. Eh, not not for total the question, but had a, a, a doubt. Okay. But All right. Today I couldn't uh, working in that in, in the during, during the, day. the day. That's okay, Normita. So maybe like uh, maybe later if you want me to help you like after class, let me know. Okay, you can okay. text me and I can help you that. What about Elizabeth? Elizabeth, what about in your case? Did you finish section two and the midterm, Elizabeth? 
No, yet, teacher. I need to complete any part. Which part? Uh, I remember that. Uh, 3.2. Ah, but if you're talking about 3. Oh. On the midterm or the section uh, 3, Elizabeth? I believe, I believe in the section. It's the section. Because yes. if it's the section and 3, the you are okay. Election, I Ah, okay. Elizabeth, and you were the supposed final to. Exam, I don't complete. Okay. No, it's okay because right now, Elizabeth, it's only to section two. Section two and midterm. Okay? No. You finished that. Two, you finished. Uh, yes. Okay, yes, that's okay. Yes. That's okay. All right. And Moises, what about you? Have you finished all the way to section two and the midterm, Moises? Yes, I really finished tonight. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice. Wow. Thank you. you guys are good boys and good girls. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. And I know, Jesse, you did, you finished that long time ago. Yeah, I know. And Verito, what about you, Vero? I didn't finish yet, teacher, but today in the afternoon I was working mm -hmm. and I hope to finish tonight. <laughs> Yeah, all right, please. And let me know, uh, Veronica, because I need to update your um, scores, okay? Okay. All right, you. yeah, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Nubia, Nubia. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to send you to your groups, all right? And I want you to come up with sentences using either or, all right? I want you to use either or with nouns, either or with adjectives, either, yeah, either or with verbs, all right? So you can play with the position of either or. Try to make your sentences kind of like a little bit more complex than just either you like bananas or apples. I mean, that's too easy for you, all right? You're advanced level, come on guys. Do something more sophisticated, all right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so work on that, and then when you come back, I'm going to have an exercise for you, all right? So we can work on that, and then we're going to keep on working with the, uh, the book, and then we're, we're going to keep on advancing, all right? So here we go. I'm going to send you to try to make as many sentences as possible, all right? You guys are advanced all right. already. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. All right, very good. So here we go. Kind of sentence, each kind of word. <laughs> the future okay. I can, I have one using verbs. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't like to go to the gym, you can either go jogging or you can do it uh, with you too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. If you don't like to go to the gym, you can either, how do you say, go jogging or doing jogging? Like, if you say... Doing jogging, because this is the hacer. Uh, you say you go jogging, or you jogging. jog, you jog, you go jogging, uh-huh. 
Ah, okay. You can either go jogging or you can do exercise with you too. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, for example, um, um, let me see the example. Mm -hmm. Can either come. For example, either mm, I try to remember the 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 rules ah, okay yeah you call either take an exam exam or take it or why for example you could either take uh oral exam mm -hmm. or no take uh, oral or write exam. Oh, that's great. Yes, you could you could either take. You could either take mm -hmm. uh, oral or write exam. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's another example of verb, right? Or, or written exam, an oral exam or written. written? Exam. Mm -hmm. uh, oral or written? Yes. Are all okay. an, or either an oral or written exam? Mm -hmm. Okay. An oral or written exam. And another example. Let me see. So okay. Two verbs. Okay. Oral or written. Um, um, I have one using nouns. Yes. Either your Noun. boss or either your boss or your colleague can drive either? you home. Your boss. I'm sorry. <laughs> either your boss. Either. Or your, your boss? colleague. Or colleague. Mm -hmm. Can can drive you home. Can or can't. I think it's can. Can, right? Because we are talking about a possibility. Um, yes, either your boss or colleague can drive. Drive you home. I'm sorry. The finish, I don't understand. Drive uh, you home? Well, drive me home. No, drive you, drive you. Drive you home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's like giving you right. <laughs> <laughs> you hire me. You hire me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Either your boss or colleague can drive you home. Mm -hmm. Drive you. Drive you home. Mm -hmm. Drive you home. Yes. And another. With a this is an adjective, yes or no? Wait, the example it, is a. I think it's nouns because nouns. Yes, because your boss and your colleagues 
are uh, ah, yes, it's a noun. They are nouns, yeah. And with name. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's build I another. Go, go, go yes. ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Let's build another another sentence. Um uh, either let can, me see. Can you please repeat me the the center the sentence, the first sentence? Well, this neither Real Madrid nor Barcelona, Barcelona. won the champions. Mm -hmm. The other one is uh, either either um Either me or you. Mm -hmm. um, are you um, are attending? Are you are attending using, English classes in the at nine? Are you using neither or either? Either. Oh. Mm -hmm. Neither neither you or me are attending. Uh, English classes in the at nine. Nine. Well hello teacher. Hello. Either um Hi Verito. Hi Oscar. I'm listening. Either girls. Hello teacher. Hi Verito. Teacher either yes. is is using for 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 example in positive positive sentence that's right yes yeah it's when you use it you you have like a positive connotation like i say either oscar or um miguel will help you all right so you know that you're gonna receive help from either one or the other guy all right and like it's positive because someone is gonna help you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, either girls or boys like to dance. Hey, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, neither, neither, let me see. Let me check. Neither a turtle, sí. nor a, <laughs> nor a, ble a blizzard can fly. All right. Neither a turtle nor a blizzard can fly. Can either, fly. Uh -huh. either my brother or my sister uh, go to visit my my grandma the next weekend. Okay. okay. Either either me or my brother loves my mom. Is that okay, teacher? Say it again. Either me or my brother loves my mom. Or loves mom. Yeah. Because okay. the last one is my brother. That's right, yeah. And he's one. He loves. And he right, won. yes. All yeah. right, yep. Wow, it's kind of difficult. It's kind of just to remember. <laughs> yeah, you need to remember, to remember those grammar rules, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Neither um let me check. You you can go to your workplace either by bus or by, by by driving okay by driving say it again oscar either uh -huh. you can go to your workplace you can go to your workplace either by bus mm -hmm. or by driving or by car because bus is a noun and driving is an a, a noun okay uh-huh Okay. So either by bus or by car. Either by so you bus have the same the same type of words, right? Okay. Teacher. Yes, very neither, neither my brother nor my sister. You're using neither or either, Verito? Neither. 
Okay. Neither, neither my brother nor my sister gone to visit my grandma the last Sunday. Went to visit. Went to visit my grandma last Sunday. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Um, when to visit. During, during uh, the quarantine, I neither exercise myself. <laughs> what happened, Oscar? Why not? <laughs> nor, nor, just a little, just a little. Nor ate health, healthful. Healthy, nor ate uh, healthy. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, nor okay. ate healthy. Um, you, you can you can either learn English or Japanese. That's right. Very good. Huh? Yeah. Or French, like Verito, because she's a French speaker. <laughs> is, is that for sure? Yeah, is Verito speaks French and English and Spanish. <laughs> Take that, <Yeah>. Oscar. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, amazing. I'm learning, teacher. Wow, it's good for you. Yeah, Verito, good for you, Verito. I, Thank you, uh -huh. I, I learned. <clears throat> yes, my... My main, my main idea to learn French was uh, <clears throat> was to to go to Paris. <laughs> what was to go to Paris? No. Uh, to go to Paris? No. 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 <laughs> Many people say so. But in in fact, I went to Paris four year, years ago. But oh I, my goodness. My wish was uh -huh. go to live to Canada. <laughs> All okay. right. Okay. Is your dream? Yes. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Are you, are you uh, strolling to do that, or are you doing something, or just a? It's just, just a, a wish. Just <laughs> a wish. Just a wish. Oh my goodness! Very good. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I neither um, speak uh, well French nor Mandarin. Oh. I, I speak few Mandarin. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, the basics. The basics. Nice. Cool. Yes, but, but not the characters, just uh, mm. uh, speaking, some song speaking. And writing, no, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, Verito, I had the opportunity to learn French, but uh, I mean, I did it 20 years ago, but I never practiced it, so I forgot everything. I just don't like French, actually. Yes. yes I have because... this thing, problem here, that I just don't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because yeah. uh, when learning French, you need to... You need to use the. I see. No, I can. The, the, the throw. The throw. The no. Yeah. Nas nasal and the glove. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh. No, that's not for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow. And maybe I in like. another life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Go to go to live at the Canada was the the main idea, but uh, the I try to apply. Mm. Apply, mm. but they require a lot of how do you say in English requisitos? Requisites? Yes. They require require a lot of requisites. Oh my goodness. I see. Too many things. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's difficult. <laughs> Oscar, oh. have you ever been to another country? If I ever live in another country. Or been, uh -huh, to visit or... Yeah, yeah, I've been in the U.S. in, in Taiwan. All right. Uh, and you, teacher? I lived in Canada, Verito. Oh, nice, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh, you yeah. said last, last time you said you were working in a hotel. Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, I lived in Canada, but that's like... How long time, teacher? 
I was there for like eight and a half years. Wow. Okay. What part? Winnipeg, Manitoba. Oh, okay. nice. It's a I'll freezer. <laughs> when was it? When was it? Uh, I actually left during the war and I came uh -huh. back in 1999. 1999 okay so i came back 20 years ago so it's like you know it's a it's it seems like a dream now <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, that could be a lie <laughs> yeah but I that's where to... that's where i learned uh the language actually yes. i see mm -hmm. i see your accent mm -hmm. i used to i i lived in the u.s for one year okay from night uh, from 97 to 98 okay Maria, I studied some English, right? But I, I need, I never try to, to rewind and all. I mean, right. to, to, I don't practice. That's right. Practice mm -hmm. so every day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that, that, yes, Verito. Did you learn English in Canada? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I left, I didn't speak any word in English. I just said my name is Jessica. That's all I knew. <laughs> <laughs> So, but the advantage was that I I was 11 when I left. Yeah, and wow. I came back when I was almost 20, so I was like almost 9 years about that. So you speak oh. English like riding on the bicycle. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> like riding a bicycle just Yeah. Oh, it's it's good. It's good. Yeah, I didn't have the good. chance to to practice so much. I mean, I learned English. Right. I I I went to the college right but no i couldn't uh, i couldn't stay in the u.s right. so i didn't have the chance to practice right yeah much. yeah all that much right yeah but and, that's, that, to you. Uh -huh. and that's what happened to me with french because i i i took french in high mm -hmm. school but when you're young you don't really take it seriously i was just, i mean canada mm -hmm. is like they have both languages right but Yes. Uh, if you speak English, you don't really need French, all right? Because mm -hmm. I didn't really live in, in mm -hmm. Quebec, which is the French area. I lived in mm -hmm. So I didn't really practice it. So I just learned it like what the kids learn here English, you know? It was mm -hmm. like, yeah, whatever. So, but now <laughs> when I realize I should have. <laughs> uh -huh. Long time ago. Yeah, long time ago. Right, yeah. I saw. I, nice. And I, I also spent uh, one year in Taiwan. Oh, really, Oscar? Or, or less, or less, maybe 10 months. 10 months, all right. So that's months. why you speak some Mandarin. Uh -huh, they... uh, few words, few words. I am I, like a beginner, like a beginner. Okay. I wouldn't be lost if I go there and I ask for some direction. Also. All right, okay, cool, but, nice. Uh, cool, but this, uh, this is... Uh, as I said before, it, that language is for, for young people. Actually, you, <laughs> yeah. you can do it uh, at any age, at right. any age, but it's going to be more, more difficult. Of course, it's more difficult. The older you are, the older you get, it's a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. The yeah. tones, there are, yeah. the pronunciation is, is right. kind of difficult. Yeah. Sometimes I, did, I didn't even get the, the English tones, but those right. are easier. <laughs> the easiest, I yeah. believe, this is tones. Yeah. So... Yeah. yeah. Is the way it is. That's yeah, the way it is. is. You know, and I, 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 I actually like uh, my daughters. They speak full English, right? So it's funny because they are like they have been speaking it since babies. So their English is very native. I mean, they sound like you know they're just like two little native little girls speaking and fighting and playing. So it's kind of cool because the the younger you are, the better it is to learn any language. Uh -huh. Yes. Good for them. It's yeah. The it's, way it should be. The way it should be. Yeah. So wow. they are bilingual by now and they're only six and eight. <laughs> <laughs> six and eight. Yeah. You know, my one of my one of the uh, my older daughter, like one that was telling me the other day, Mom, I speak more English than Spanish, don't I? <laughs> so she's like, it's funny. Because they do. I mean, they they spend watching TV like a lot of their uh -huh. times, and their TV is in English, the movies in English, so they know a lot of more words in English than Spanish. Okay. Oh. As soon as they manage the yeah, they manage both. They manage right? both in a in a formal way. I mean, to study. Right. Yeah. 
to attend the classes and so that's on. right so it's kind of fun to, <laughs> to see them <laughs> it's a it's a tool english language is really a tool i mean it is it is uh -huh. i work i got my job by by my using my english skills right uh it's like a call center mm -hmm. actually the wave is similar to the call center okay. it's not that much it's like uh you make a uh, one thousand per, per month. Okay. You more maybe one thousand two hundred, and many people think uh, that uh, you are making a lot of money. Right. So that's uh, some co-workers and, and all of us. Mm -hmm. that, uh, we used to wear a a, a jacket. A, a, no, a shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, if we were pilots. Oh, really? That that's the, the uniform. That's mm -hmm. the uniform. But uh, we request the company that to avoid the avoidance. The, we request the company not to use it. Oh, okay. It's too dangerous. And many right. people. I mean, you had clashes. Right. Uh, clashes with robbers because they think you're, that you're rich. You, 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 <laughs> uh, your, your image. Right. Like a, but my I I I would compare my I would compare my job to mm -hmm. a call center. Okay. A call center is is quite quite similar so mm. it's not it's not a career it's right. just english right right so berito you have to to have to say work hard That's <laughs> you right, have to you. work hard yeah and keep the and keep this the, the our in english language proficiency that's right to, yeah to keep up today and, and right and, and it opens and more doors jobs. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to go back right now because I need to take attendance. It's already nine o'clock. I cannot believe it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank guys. You. All right, let's see. Um, Diana and Jennifer, can you tell us a couple of your sentences that you came up with? Yes, teacher. Uh, for example, either Paula or Jessica will go to the supermarket. Excellent. All right. Okay. All right. Diana, can, okay. Okay. Go ahead, Jenny. Go ahead. Tell us another yes. sentence. Yes. Either your boss or colleague can drive you home. Can drive you home. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Very good. Let's see. Andre, thank you, Jenny. Who were you working with, Andrea? I worked with Irene and Moises. Oh, all right. Very good. So, Andre, can you can you share with us some of your sentences? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, learn or 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 share. No, just say them. That's okay. okay. Uh, for my next vacation, I would like to travel either to the romantic Paris oh, or my goodness. to visit oh. the beach. <laughs> oh my goodness. Both places are romantic, I guess. Very nice. Another yes. sentence, mm -hmm. Andrea. Um, either my sister or my brother is going to prepare the dinner tonight. Nice. All right. I wish that would be true for me. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> Williams, who were you working with, Williams? I cannot listen to you, Williamsito. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I work with, uh, oh my God, <laughs> with Ellie and. Uh, who's Only Elizabeth. No. With. Sylvia, I think. All yeah. right. Okay. <laughs> Silvita's like, yeah, it was me. All <laughs> right. That's, that's okay. Aha, uh -huh, Williams, tell us your sentences. Tell us a couple of sentences. Okay. Uh, either Mary or Susie will buy the house in front of the lake. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next one is you can either dance in the hall or sing in the chapel for the wedding. Wow. Very nice sentences. Okay. And the last one. The last one. She will either break with him, break up mm -hmm. with him, or have a strong relationship after this problem. Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys were inspired. Very good. <laughs> All right. 
Yes, um, thank you, Denny. I just need, yeah, thank you, Denny, for just reminding me of the attendance. Thank you. Normita, who are you working with, Norma? I working with Nubia. Okay, can you tell us your sentences? Okay, the first one, in mm -hmm. my neighborhood, neither clean the street nor okay. put garbage in the basket. Oh, my goodness, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and neither my family nor my friend are sick of COVID-19. Gracias a Dios, very good. Thank God. Yes, of course. And okay. with either... Uh, either Maria or Norma ride a bicycle. Oh, very nice. Okay, cool. And another one, yes. you can either go in car or in bus at home, at work. Okay, so that one you can either go by bus or by car. By. By, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. And, uh -huh. I don't know if it continues. Yes, uh, continue. Either, either she or he talk with phone at night or or talk with computer. Oh, okay, all right, very good. Okay, thank you, Norma, that's very nice. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take right now. All right, I was, Jose Luis, who are you working with? <clears throat> I work with Yesenia. Oh, okay, so Jose Luis, tell us your sentences before I take attendance. Okay. Uh, he either wash that closet himself or ask her to wash them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope he does the first thing. <laughs> All right, very good. Yes. So, the second either sentence. Either he or she either she or either he or she win the medal. Either he or she wins the medal, right? The medal. Yes, um, wins the other, medal. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can you can either visit your parents or my grandparents. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, another is they don't have enough sugar. They can either drink coffee or drink milk. Cool. All right. All right. Nice. I like them. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm going to take sure. attendance right now. Let's see. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Okay. Uh, Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. My goodness, <laughs> it's really a Monday. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Luis. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Thank you, Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present teacher. Dia Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodriguez Argueta. Present. Guys, I don't have my glasses today. I can barely see. <laughs> eh, Francisca Irene Lima Hernandez. Present. Thank you. All right, let me see. Eh, mm -mm. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Nope. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Gerardo Daniel Gópez, Gómez Rodríguez. No, digo. Are my glasses. I'm missing them today. Nope, he's not in today. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present. Eh, Silvia Marisol Villalta Me? Martínez. Thank you. Silvia. Marisol, mm -hmm. thank you. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present. And Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Present. Thank you, Nubia. All right, guys, uh, before we continue with the, uh, the following exercise, Silvita, I just have, a question. have you worked on the platform, Silvia? No, teacher. I am. I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're really behind, Silvita. All right, I really need you to work on the platform, like as in like yesterday. <laughs> All right, so I do want you to work on it, please, because remember, guys, and this is not only for Silvia, but this is like information for everyone. If you don't complete the platform, but you were here all the, like every single day, it's the same thing as if you weren't. All right, so remember that the platform attendance is mandatory, all right? So I really need 
everyone to work on the platform, especially if you're super behind, all right? Uh, Nubia, have you worked on the platform? You're supposed, like to this date, guys, you're supposed to have finished section one, section two, and the midterm, all right? So I really need you to get to work on that. Nubia, how are you working or how are you on the platform? I only work in part uh, two. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, I really need you guys to like speed up with that and, and let me know as soon as you are like all like caught up all the way that where you're supposed to be. So, Silvita, I really need you to work on it, please, because I need to send the report on your score. All right. Because it's, it's, yeah, you, it's behind. All right. So, I really need you to work on that if you can do it. All right. So, let me know. All right, guys. So, this is what we're going to keep on working on right now. You know what? I'm going to share with you a video, a short video about either or, neither nor. All right. Just for you to like, thank you, Sivita. So just for okay. you to um, see it, let me get it out here for you. It's here. All right. Okay. So I'm going to share the uh, computer audio. You may take notes if you want to. Hi, just a quick video today on either or and neither nor. How to use them and plenty of example sentences. Firstly, pronunciation. They can be pronounced either or or either or. And likewise, neither nor and neither nor. You choose, but you'll hear both in everyday English. All right, just if you pay attention to what she said, sometimes you're gonna hear the pronunciation either or, or either or, neither nor, or ni ni uh, neither nor, all right? So it's okay, both ways are fine. It's really up to you which way you wanna pronounce, all right? So usually we say either or, neither nor, all right? But if you wanna go about saying, pronouncing it differently, it's okay, all right? So just for you to know that, okay? They represent a choice between two things that are the same grammatical type. Both adjectives, both nouns, both verbs, phrases or clauses. So here are some examples. I'm not sure where Bruno is from. He's either Spanish or Italian. Choice one is Spanish and choice two is Italian. Here it's a choice of two adjectives or a choice between two nouns. I've saved some money to buy either a new dress, that's choice one, or a new coat, that's choice two. Or maybe it's a choice between two verbs, either apologize or leave. Choice one is apologize, choice two is leave. Or maybe it's a choice between phrases. You can say either with me or with Janet. Or a choice between two clauses. Either I drive to the airport or I get a taxi. Or even prefixes. So you could say we can either pre or postdate the document. I don't mind. Okay, so that's either or. As long as the two choices are the same grammatical, grammatical type, you can use either or. The opposite of either or is neither nor. And we use it when we have a choice between two negative alternatives. So here are some examples. Neither Brian nor his wife mentioned anything about moving house. Brian didn't mention that they were moving house and his wife didn't mention that they were moving house either. Okay, so we got so wet, we had neither umbrellas nor raincoats with us. Neither our families nor our friends know that we are getting married. Neither Chris nor Pat came to the party. Tom said he would contact me, but he neither wrote nor phoned. However, it can sound formal in spoken English. Neither Italy nor France got to the quarterfinals last year. 
So a less formal way to say this would be to use and and not either. So here you'd say Italy didn't get to the quarterfinals last year and France didn't either. And that's probably better in spoken English. One little thing to remember for both either or and neither nor is the subject that is closest to the verb decides the form. So if the subject closest to the verb is singular, use a singular verb form. If the closest subject is plural, use a plural verb form. So here is an example. Either his mother or my sisters are singing in the pub tonight. Here my sisters is closest to the verb, so the verb is in the plural form because my sisters is plural. Uh, however, you could say either my sisters or his mother is singing in the pub tonight. Here my mother is closest to the verb and so it is the singular form of the verb we use as my mother is singular. And the same is applies for neither nor. So neither his mother nor my sisters are singing in the pub tonight. So here we, the, my sisters is closest to the verb and so in this case we would use the plural form of the verb. Whereas in this sentence neither my sisters nor my mother is singing in the pub tonight. Here my mother is closest to the verb, my mother is singular, so the verb form is singular. That's the only one, one little thing you need to remember. So that's it for now. I hope you feel more comfortable using either or and neither nor in English. Remember to like this video if you found All right, so did you understand what she was talking about? All right, so this is what pretty much we have been like talking about also, all right? Remember that we are, you know, when we use either or, neither nor, we're, we're using the same type of words like nouns, adjectives, verbs, phrases, all right? She was also saying, and also she was reminding you to always uh, be careful with the verb, with the, with the word closest to the verb, all right? So to make it either plural or to make it singular, all right? So that's what she was like saying, all right? Do you have any questions or any comments about the, the video we just saw? Or you understood everything? You're okay with that video? Yeah? All right, very it's good. Interesting. I'm sorry, teacher. Yes, Diana, tell me, tell me. It's interesting that she said that in, in spoken English, mm -hmm. uh, it's better to say, uh, and not either in, instead of neither nor. Right. Yeah. Remember it's that. Useful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So remember that many things or many grammatical rules, they were like made for like being formal or when you're writing them. And then we kind of change them a little bit when we're speaking. I guess it happens in any other language. Because I guess the same thing would, we would do in Spanish, all right? Like we can use very informal language when we're speaking. And then when we write, we use a little bit more formal language, all right? So, but it's good to know that as well, that it happens in English, all right? Very good. Any other comments, Jesse? Did you like the video? Did you understand what she was saying, Jesse? Yes, teacher. I like the video. But it, I like to the explanation because she explained the either and or mm -hmm. it just for choices. And right. that is the, for me, that is the key. Right. In, yeah. In this topic, because when you have two sentences mm -hmm. and you have to choose one of, of two things, right. you can use either right but when you had another kind of sentences mm -hmm. you have to use neither right right and for me that is the keyword 
that right. she explained me. Right, very good. And also remember that either or is going to be for affirmative, for positive things, whereas neither yes. nor is for more like negative alternatives. Yes. All right, so yeah, very good. All right, yes. very good, guys. So let's see here. Uh, this, I, wanna, I want you to take a picture of the following. I want you to take a picture of this. Hold on, guys. I need us. I'm going to move us here. All right. So you're working with either or, neither nor when it's necessary, or sometimes you're just using or. All right. So make sure that you take a picture of this. I think it's going to be like two pictures for, uh, for these worksheets. So can you take a picture of it? When you're finished. Ready? Can I move it? Yes. Yes, yes I can you. see. All right, very good. Yeah. Now this one, pero hasta ahí, porque si no van a ver las respuestas. <laughs> okay, finished? No. Okay, let me know. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, hold on. Then you're gonna take another picture. Just let me go get it here. I wanna stop sharing for a second. Okay. Okay, then I want you to take a picture of these. So we're pretty much working on it, like on, on both worksheets, pretty much for the class, but that's okay. All right, here, Pair conjunctions, these are the ones that we have studied, both and, either, or, neither, nor, not only, but also. All right, so take a picture of this one. Mm -hmm. Take a picture of these, like the four, the, the four conjunctions we have studied at, up to this day. So take a picture of it. Let me know when you're finished. Ready? Yes. Okay. Oops. I will try. Oi. Did you did, were you able to take the picture? Was yes, it okay? Sir. Yeah. Okay, very good. And then let's try to do at least two here. Number eight. We're not gonna do nine and ten. It says rewrite the you uh, the sentences using the pair conjunctions in brackets. And you have to use both and, either, or, not only, but also, neither, nor. I know we have done this one. Hold on, guys, wait. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I think, no, let's just do this one. We have done the other one. I think we did it on the previous classes last week. So just let's do this one. So the idea for us right now is to work on the first worksheet that was this one. I want you to work on this right now. And as soon as you finish that one, then you will work on the one that we just took a picture of, but just the first part, this part right here. And then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna work on the uh, manual, all right? The, the worksheet that is on the manual, on the book. So I'm sending everyone again to your groups and I'm adding it in it to the group. All right. You
middle of the classroom. It's of my classmates. Number nine. Mm -hmm. Either. Middle of, of my classmates could come to the party. Uh, they were both sick. Okay. And third, Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Just a question. Okay. Yes. We are watching that. Oh, uh, some sentence only I'm have either. It doesn't have or. Uh huh. It's correct? Yeah. Because remember yeah. that, I mean, either or and neither nor, they are used in different ways. All right. Not only like together, all right, but also separately. All right, uh -huh. Moises. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So it depends on, I mean, of using neither nor either or, but I mean, it's okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, then I don't like of this, of this two computers. Neither. I don't like either, either, either or those two coffee, coffee shops, either. Eleven. Mm. Neither car, cats, nor dogs are allowed in the restaurant. <laughs> mm. Neither. Number, number eleven, neither. And no. Perfect. Twelve. Twelve. Buena, buena, buena. Sorry. We can take a flight. A flight at Either. one o'clock. Neither twenty. Either. We can take a flight either one o'clock or three thirty. Or okay. Thirteen. Vancouver, North Toronto Vancouver, is the capital city of Canada. Near Vancouver. Uh, a sample when using when using don't. You use it don't is either. It's either. I don't like either of those two coffee shops. Uh -huh. okay. And another one is neither cats nor. No. Dogs are allowed in the restaurant. Neither, Neither cats, cats nor, nor dogs uh -huh. are allowed in the restaurant. Twelve. We can take a flight at. Either one o'clock or three or three thirty. Three thirty. Okay. Oh, so sería either. Yes. Either or. In the thirteen. <coughs> Vancouver North. Either, no, neither. It, neither Vancouver nor Toronto uh -huh. is the capital city of Canada. Okay, the number 14, either tomorrow nor or either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow is a good day to meet. 
Yes. Fifteen. Uh, I can find in this case is either because when you use a scan is either. either. The fifteen. Okay. And another one. The pair conjunction, conjunction también, ¿verdad? La siguiente slide también. Hi, Normita. Yes. Hi, teacher. How was your day today at work with everything now and the reopening of everything? Ah, very complicated, teacher, because many buses no pass. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. uh, for example, for that tour from Aguachapan to uh -huh. San Salvador, no, not working. Oh, really? Uh -huh. and, and then many people uh, travel to Santa Ana and mm -hmm. try to take a bus in Santa Ana, but the, the bus stop mm -hmm. was very crowded. Of course. Because uh, the Santa Ana Tudo ha, uh, had a, a no, uh, no, not, not have no enough buses. Uh, buses. Right. And then many people no, uh, didn't um, arrive. Didn't arrive to the to the job. Oh my goodness. Since God, the company continues working with the normal bosses they payment. Okay. But when many for that route mm -hmm. had another cooperative mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something route. All right. And, and they need to present it in the correct uh, route these days. Okay. And that that uh, buses uh, couldn't go to the company at okay. the beginning. Wow. I don't know what to to continue tomorrow. Yeah, no kidding. Eh? Yeah, because the 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 people for the that uh, bigger enterprise had a post and the government had another post. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what the people. And we mean. are in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Between right. the both. Yeah. But I don't know. All right. What about in your case, Nubia? Did you like, but do you take the public transportation? Not in your case? I, leave, I work in. Yes. Hola. Nubia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. All right. Can I can hear you. I can hear you, Norma. No, I know. Had a, had a, uh, what to say? Interference. Like interference, but with Nubia or, or with Hi, Nubia. Teacher. Hi, Nubia. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. So in your case, Nubia, I know that you don't live here in San Salvador, but did you have any difficulties today with any kind of transportation? Uh, no, I walk to the work oh. every okay. day. Okay. Uh, I okay. I work near of my home. house. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't right. difficult. <laughs> yeah, you don't have any difficulties. Very good. Okay. But what about in the, the whole um, place? Uh, was it difficult for people to commute or was it okay? What? For the, for the, yeah, for the rest of your town or for the rest of the people that live in your um, city? Was it difficult for the rest of them, or or did you see anything, or? Uh, somebody is difficult. For some uh, people, okay. Uh, yes, uh, uh, somebody no difficult. Right, okay. Because okay. Uh, the majority of people uh, uh, near of your work. Okay, of their work. Okay, yes. okay. okay. No, All right. No yeah. problem. Okay. <laughs> That's good. 
Yeah, I guess it's difficult where the cities are bigger, right? Like San Salvador, yes. San Miguel, Santa Ana, mm. also. No, yeah. Lo Vasco is uh, small. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you and can, beautiful. You, you, <laughs> yes, you can walk. Uh, uh, to your job and no problem, right? Yes. Cool. All right. I don't, uh, we, we don't, we don't need a uh, mm -hmm. bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Yeah. Right. So Norma, that means that not not many people, I mean, some people did not come to work at all today. Yes. Okay. Imagine for these people, no payment today because it's absent. Absent, yeah. Absent, yeah. Absent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Norma. <laughs> in, in the company, uh, call to the people, the last people to come back to this week, mm -hmm. the two previous weeks ago. Okay. And then if the people not presented at the company since today or tomorrow, no payment the bono for meals for this oh, week. Oh, oh really? Yes, because all the people uh, call to work. Yeah. And then if they don't appear, mm -hmm. we take a, a, a absent or a, a what to say, renuncia voluntary. Yeah, they like they quit voluntarily. They, they quit voluntarily because they they not not uh, like to continue work. Mm. For the reason that people need to go. Yeah. For right. any way they choose. That. Right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Now, Norma, what about the people that are older or that are pregnant or they have any like chronic illnesses? Do they have to work? Yes. So yes. everybody. Today, today, everybody, because the the assembly not approve that the the new the new. I don't know to say if a law or the yeah law. I law. don't remember. Okay. What is the, the vote? But the FFML is submitted a, a one project uh -huh. for all the people couldn't continue work until August, until October. Okay. But not approve that for the reason that people need to go. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The problem. <laughs> yes, the problem is for the company with any biosecurity uh, rules or or action right because in the company with the sec biosecurity rules the people have more careful mm -hmm. but for another i don't know right yeah it's a risk it is a risk yeah you're right yeah it's complicated. I guess it's going to get complicated. It's going to yeah. get more complicated now that everybody is out again. Yeah. You know what, Normita? I'm very happy teaching from my home. <laughs> I, yes, teacher. I, I, today I, I'm thinking about it because imagine the class might maybe not return to the school, but it's right. better. Yeah. It's better. Because imagine all the people in, in the street. I know, no. In the, the more difficult situation is that the people uh, realize they need mm -hmm. to make a distance social. Yeah, I know, a social distance. Social thing. distance, excuse right. me. Right, yeah. Because I don't know why the people always uh, I'm like crowded. I know that. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. I yeah. don't know why. And you know what? But this is not the, the most difficult the most difficult situation yeah. yeah and i think another like another difficult situation i don't know if nubia or and you agree normita is that some people don't believe this is real don't people don't believe that this can actually kill you and they think it's a joke and they don't take their measurements teacher pero the people don't realize that ah, another another war I because, know, Normita, but you know what? Because all the people in I, here too had a illness or died. I know, but 
the, you know what? I feel that the, the young people, they don't really believe it's happening. They yeah. think they are not, they're not going to die. You know, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen to them. It's not going to affect them. So they don't really care. They're like, yeah, whatever. I have to wear this mask because I have to, not because I understand I have to wear it. Yeah. You know, but it, I mean, it's amazing. And, and I do question just like you did, you know, like what's going on with these people. But I believe there are many people that they don't believe this is happening. They don't believe that it can happen to them. Yeah, you know, so they... The situation was in Peru. Mm -hmm. The all the teenagers died. Right, Peru. yes. But I, I, I think in the police officers need to to uh, enter to the jail for the people owner of the mm -hmm. discotheque because the responsibility was for the, that person. Imagine in quarantine, make a organized a party. Yes, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. For me, this is the responsibility. Right. And all of the, the father. Yeah. But you know that, that they are on, don't have in the house. Right, that's right, <laughs> yeah. What about Nubia, what about in Ilovasco, are people like, aware of the problem or they don't care or how is Ilo Vasco reacting with this whole thing? Nubia? Hello. How's Ilo, how is Ilo Vasco people reacting to everything? <coughs> Hello. Can you hear me Nubia? Yes, yes. Problem. That's okay, that's okay, Nubia. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I'll let you keep on working on me. Okay, okay so I'll let you keep on working. No, no, yes. can you hear me, Normita? Yeah, keep on working and then we're gonna go back and I'll take attendance again, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Too. <laughs> That's a promise. <laughs> what is a promise, Williams? Williams, you're always laughing. <laughs> I, I don't know why. <laughs> the life is good. <laughs> life is beautiful, at Williams. Yeah. Williams say that uh, maybe in the uh, sentence eight, he, I think we think is either or. In a, in I told him, I don't think the the, the boy takes the girl to two places in the same time. To the cinema <laughs> to the, I will take you either to the cinema or to the theater. That's uh -huh. a it's a choice. Uh, he told me that maybe the boy have a. a I see I say I'll both. take you both to the cinema in that in and to the theater yeah that's a promise as a promise mm. it could make sense Silvita maybe not at the same time but one activity after the next <laughs> maybe yeah <laughs> maybe and is it aha uh -huh, Williams because <laughs> I don't know what he does but it's extreme. I don't. I don't think that a girl like it two places in the same night. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's during the whole day, Sylvia. Come on. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Right. All right. Let's see, Silvita. What do you have for number one? Who wrote? Uh, or who? Michael or Paul? I think he was either Michael or Paul. All right. Very good. What about number two? Williams. It's uh, neither Linda nor Helen. Okay. Number three, Sylvia? Both Raya and Susie have disappointed me. Disappointed me, yes. All right, very good. Williams, number four? Uh, I think it's neither. Paul has been... Neglecting uh, us? Neglecting us. He neither calls nor hands. I would quit us anymore. All right, very nice. Yeah. All right. What about five, Sylvia? Uh, he hurts not only her feelings but also her dignity. Oh my goodness! 
<laughs> this is unforgivable, totally. All right, very good. Uh, William's <laughs> number six. Okay, both loyalty and honesty are essential in a Oh, that's a nice sentence. Yes, of course. Very good. And Silvita, seven. Uh, neither, you should neither disrespect nor deceive your friends. Nice. And the last one that you were like discussing about that one. <laughs> you. We, all right. William says it's both and. I will take you both to the cinema and to the theater. That's a promise. And Silvia was saying, I will take you either to the cinema or to the theater. That's a promise. All right. Both make sense. It depends how you see it. <laughs> how say promise? Promise? No, or? promise. 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 Yeah. Okay. It's a promise. Yeah. Teacher, yes, what, is the, what is the meaning of hangouts? Like to go out. If you say, I'm going to go hang out, I'm going to hang out with my friends, it's like, voy a salir con mis amigos. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Hang out. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a I phrasal verb. Oh, cut a, a call. <laughs> no, it's actually a phrase over Williams that means to go out and have fun. Okay. So when you say, I'm hanging out with my friends, it's like, it's like yeah, I mean, like to go. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. Oh, come on, Williams. <laughs> Williams, how old are you? Uh, 45. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> You're how old? No, 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 no. Thirty-five. <laughs> Thirty-five. Five, yeah. I say forty-five. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired today. <laughs> yeah, I know. Were you in class last Friday, Williams? No, right? No. What I... happened, Williams? You left us. Yeah. Why did you leave us? Because I, I okay, uh, you know, I work for uh, NGO and yes. last two week we have a different program. Okay. Uh, farmers in, uh, in our communities. Okay. Mm, we don't have time because they have a, uh, a little time to, I don't, okay, sembrar, how to say? To to grow, grow it. to 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 farm to I don't know to harvest. Maybe I I I believe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the point is. <laughs> the point is, yeah, we don't have a uh, a lot of time. We only have two or three weeks because it's a raining season. Right. And appropriate season. Okay. Uh, ground. Grow. Okay, yeah, to I, grow, uh-huh. So, uh, we help them with uh, with some products, uh, mm. like to seal or, uh, um, I don't know, to say abono, abono, and it's... I know, me neither. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't use abono in English, honey. <laughs> I don't know. Poisons, too? Okay. So, but we need to identify before. Okay. We have a like, big work uh, uh, in, in this. Yeah. So that's uh, why. I have time for big. Yeah, work. of course. Yeah. yeah. So, and, but it's, but it's great. Okay. Yeah. I know you love your job. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Very good, Williams. All right, guys, we're going to go back. We're going to check it. And then I need to take attendance. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's time to go. I almost time to go. My goodness. This time flies. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see, guys. Uh, Moises, can you read number one already, like how you have it with um, your classmate? Can you read number one, Moises? Sure. Um, who wrote you, you this love letter? I'm not sure. I think I was either Michael or Paul. Oh, okay, very good. All right, very good, thank you. Normita, can you read number two? 
Norma, your microphone. Okay, teacher. The number two. Let me. Is nor for me. For example, neither Maria nor Eduardo was at home. Uh, for number two, the one that I have on the screen, Normita. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is neither. Okay. Neither Linda nor Helen called to say sorry. I am very sad and frustrated. Yes, called to say sorry. I'm very sad and frustrated. Very good. Diana, can you do number three? Thank you, Norma. Both Ryan and Susie have disappointed me. They didn't come to my birthday party. Oh, my goodness. Forever alone. Mm. All right, very good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oscar, can you do four? Number four, Paul has been neglecting us. He neither calls nor hangs out with us anymore. Hangs out with us anymore. Very good. All right. Very nice. Uh, Vero, can you do number, 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 number five? Okay. He, he hurt either her feelings or her dignity. Dignity. This is, Dignity. This is an unforgi unforgivable. All right. Are you sure, eh, Verito, about that one? Uh, no. He heard neither her feeling nor her dying. But, we have, but Verito, we have two spaces. Mm, yes. I'm not sure, teacher. All because right. Because I only use either. Oh, Neither. okay. That's okay. Let's see. Andre. Oh, uh -huh. yes. I, okay. I okay. got it, but... No. Ah, tell us, tell us, tell us. No. Um, no. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, 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 okay, that's okay. Andrea, can you help us with number five? Okay. Um, he heard not only uh, her mm -hmm. feelings, mm -hmm. but also her dignity. Excellent. The, Unforgivable. This is unforgivable. Yes, of course it is. Very nice. All right, Jesse, number um six, Jesse. Okay. Both, both loyalty and honesty are essential in a friendship. Both loyalty and honesty are essential in a friendship. Very good. Jose Luis, yes. number seven. Thank you. Sure. You should sure either. No, you should. Sure... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, what I'm confused. Happened? What happened? All right. All right. Jenny, can you help us with number seven? You should. Okay, teacher. Uh, you should neither disrespect. 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 Not to steal your friends. That's right. Very good. Nice. All right. Thank you. And the last one. You see, Williams and Silvita were having a discussion about number eight. Let's see what you guys have. Let's see, Oscar, what do you have for number eight? I will take you either to the cinema <laughs> or the theater. Or to the theater. That's All a right. promise. That's All a promise. Theater. Very good. All right, Diana, what do you have for that one, for number eight? It's interesting because I have the, the same way that uh, Oscar, uh, no. but, but you can say uh, it depends on the context, I, okay. I think. <laughs> because uh -huh. you, can, you can say also, I will take you both to the cinema and to the... <laughs> Look at William. That's a promise. <laughs> All right, yeah. I think that, mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. It depends exactly. It depends on the context. It depends on the day of, I mean, the time of the date. All right. Maybe he's promising to take her to both places. So if you have, I will take you either to the cinema or to the theater. That's a promise. It's okay. Or if you have, I will take you both to the cinema and to the theater. That's a promise. It's okay. I guess it would depend exactly what Diana said on the context. Okay. 
Very good. Um, guys, I'm just going to mention the people that were absent to see in case they got in. All right. I'm not going to call everybody else. All right. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. She's not in, right? She never came in. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. No. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. No. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Not in either. All right. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. No. And Gerardo Daniel Gomez Rodriguez. Not in either, right? Okay, very good. All right, Hen eh, eh, um, Jose Luis, do you know what happened to Henry? Or Moises, do you guys know what happened to Henry today? Not teacher. Sure. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. All right, that's okay. Maybe he had like some problem with the connection and stuff. All right, guys, we have like five minutes. I promise we're gonna do this really fast. So we're not gonna go to the group. I'm just gonna show you this here. All right, try to fill in the gaps either e using either or or whether or. Remember that whether or is used uh, to express doubt or choice between two possibilities. But the key word here is doubt, okay? So try to do it. I'll give you like three minutes and then we check it and then we go, all right? We're staying here. So try to like write the choices for each number. So there are six sentences. So do it here by yourself on your notebooks and then we can share them. Let me know when you finish, okay?
All right, let's see. Uh, what do you guys have for number one? The future of a company depends on? Either. Either there is an investment or, or on employee training. Everybody agrees with Diana? Weather. Mm -hmm. Either. Weather. 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 Weather sounds better. Just give me a second here, guys. Weather, Weather right? Weather. Yes. Weather. All right. Okay. Very good. Oops. I'm sorry, guys. What about the other one, number two? Either. Either. Either, right? So here, here we have the answers here. So you can check it. Boss provides opportunities for learning or the millennials will start asking for a change. Number three should be whether, whether you decide to encourage millennials' ambitions or to set boundaries for their behavior will depend on development plan for employees. Number four, you either let them express their ideas or let them go. Okay, five, being in charge, being in charge of millennials is difficult. You either wrap communication around respect or they will feel unappreciated. Number six, social media has enabled millennials to be a powerful vehicle for marketing. Either this is for good or bad is still to be seen, all right? I, in this one, the last one, I, whether this is good, whether this is for good or bad is still to be seen. For me, it also, it's also possible because you're doubting. It's something that is uncertain, all right? So if, if you had weather, that one, okay, all right? All right, guys, so as I said at the very beginning for the people that joined us later, this week we're gonna be talking about millennials and different type of generations, okay? So I think it's gonna be interesting because here in the class we have different generations going on, all right? So that's quite interesting. So we're gonna see how we can deal with each other, all right? Okay, guys, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you for joining me on a Monday. Take care, please work on the platform if you haven't finished. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys, good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Bye. God bless you too.